Have you ever felt like your joy is slipping away because you have so much responsibility? Do you ever feel like you're being pulled in a million directions? You got work, family, and other responsibilities to take care of. It's like there's no time left for you. Trust me, you know, I get it. As a woman, I've been there, but today, let me tell you this, we're going to change all that. I'm sharing powerful strategies to help you reclaim your happiness and find balance in your life. Hello, Sophisticates. Welcome back to Brains and Bobbles with Davina Dandridge. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. So let's dive in. First, let's talk about balance. Balancing work and family responsibilities without feeling overwhelmed is crucial to the joy that you want in your life. And yes, you can find balance. Keep in mind, you're in control of that balance. You can control when things happen and you can control how they happen just by following some of the strategies that I'm about to share with you. One practical strategy is to create a daily routine that includes time for work, family, and your personal activities. I mean, once you take just this 10 minutes to start thinking about getting more time in your day, having less stress, and improving your relationships, then you're on your way to designing a life of sophisticated empowerment. Creating daily routines starts by you becoming emotionally aware. And I mean, you can do this step right after this video. Just take three minutes, a notepad and a pen, and you can get busy, okay? Emotional awareness is where you begin to understand and manage your own emotions. It's the first step to emotional intelligence because self-awareness is crucial in maintaining your balance and joy in your life. You have to know about you. You have to study you and be an advocate for yourself. Only you know what causes you stress or what brings you the joy that you're looking for. The principle of emotional awareness helps you to recognize when you need to set boundaries and take time for self-care, ensuring that you don't burn out. One way of thinking that knocks most of us out of a semblance of a daily routine is thinking that we have to do everything so that we appear together, right? You want to appear on top of things, about your business, as a boss, the ideal employee, you the best mother, and you the best sexy wife with the best homemaking skills and the nicest house. You know, all of that is good but there is a way to have those things and do those things without zapping all of your joy. Because the truth is you don't have to do everything. Prioritize the things that you want to do or the things that only you can do. And I mean, when you, I say the things that only you can do, I mean, nobody else can do them. And then you want to prioritize as well the things that you want in place so that you can create a life full of fulfillment and joy. Several years ago, I was overwhelmed. And when I tell you I was stuck, I was in a sunken place, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but my lack of joy and fulfilled, fulfillment it impacted every area of my life. I felt like I was running in circles with no true destination for my life. I was doing all the things that I was supposed to do, but they weren't involved in a plan. And I felt like I was being jerked this way and jerked that way because I was just juggling everything. And, you know, I was juggling a job, number one, that was wrecking my emotions I had family responsibilities. I was taking care and still am of my mother who was getting up in age. I was balancing the emotions and running around with the children and working to maintain a healthy marriage. I couldn't let that be on the back burner for sure. Not to mention the pressure I had 
on myself to be successful at developing my own company. I was trying to figure it out. I was participating in things. I was doing this. I was, do oh my gosh, can't tell you everything that I was doing, but I felt like I was constantly running on empty. My lack of joy showed up as feeling stuck and inadequate in several areas of my life. Then one day I realized that I hadn't taken the time for myself in months. And it could have been longer than six months. I was just exhausted and unhappy all the time. And then, you know, I decided I had to make a change. I couldn't leave it up to someone else or the right time or some time in the future for this change to start taking place. I had to take ownership of where I was in my life and what I was doing. So I decided to make the change. And I just started to, decided to start setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care. And I did that by communicating my needs to my family, to my employer, anyone that was crucial in my life that I was giving that energy to. And you know, it wasn't easy. It's not about working all the time and being busy. It's about designing the life that you desire and only you can do that. Prioritizing and creating a routine helps you stay organized and ensures that you do have time for that self-care that you've been seeking. If you're enjoying this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Setting boundaries is another aspect of keeping your joy. At work, you definitely have to communicate your need for personal time to your employer, okay? You're not required to be available for work 24 seven. After five o'clock, your time is yours. But if you run your own business, you can still set up boundaries there as well. You don't have to just be at work all the time. At home, you let your family know when you need some me time. And I mean, they're only going to know if you tell them. They can't read your mind, right? So you might need to delegate some responsibility. And that way, you can get the support that you've been needing all along. You have to open your mouth, right? It's not selfish. It's necessary for your well-being. And remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. I'm sure you've heard that before. Comment below your thoughts and experiences. I love reading your comments. Another aspect that is so important to keeping the joy that you want is stress management. Stress management is vital when you're juggling multiple roles as we do. Like I said, you wanna be the best employee or boss. You wanna be the best parent, the best wife, the best everything. Why wouldn't you wanna be the best? But you also need to find activities that help you relax and recharge your battery. Whether it's reading, meditating, taking a walk, or for me, doing a skincare routine, any activity that brings you joy, you need to prioritize in your life. Your personal interests and your hobbies, they also bring you joy. And they do that by reminding you that you are a vibrant woman. You're an individual. Yes, you have all of these titles. Yes, you have all of this responsibility, but honey, you are a woman first. And you are a person who deserves the life that you desire. And it also makes you a happier and more present wife to your husband. You know, they say, happy wife, happy life. Well, you can have part in that happiness yourself. So let's dive into the next tip, which is a game changer. And it's something that you really have to get your mind wrapped around because we have so much responsibility and it's nothing wrong with wanting to be the best at everything you do. But when it comes time to taking care of you, you feel guilty about it. So the best piece of advice that's really going to change the game for you is not feeling guilty. Taking time for yourself is not neglecting your family or your work duties. It's not neglecting anything at all. It's actually making sure that those things can still go on the way that you want them to. You make sure that everyone else's needs and wants are met all the time. So don't feel guilty about prioritizing your needs. 
It's about ensuring that you are the best for those that you love. The famous opera singer, Jesse Norman said, problems arise in that one has to find a balance between what people need from you and what you need for yourself. That quote illustrates the importance of balancing external demands with personal needs, aligning perfectly with the idea that maintaining joy and balance in your life is a requirement for sophisticated empowerment. When you feel guilty, just remind yourself that self-care is essential and for your overall happiness and well-being, you have to take time for yourself. If you're finding it hard to balance everything, I have a fantastic resource for you. Check out my book, Brains and Bobbles, Do What Works For You. It offers brilliant steps to finding happiness using emotional intelligence. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to share this video with anyone who might find it helpful. To ensure you're not missing out on important life experiences, make a conscious effort to be present in the moment. Really enjoy the moment. Enjoy feel, spending time with your family. Enjoy that brisk walk. Enjoy that cup of coffee sitting in the window with the sun on your face. Develop a daily routine that includes time for work, family, and personal activities. That's just as important. Effective time management techniques like prioritizing tasks and setting realistic goals can help you achieve a better work-life balance. It wasn't easy, but the act of setting boundaries and prioritizing myself transformed my life. And of course, I did get pushed back. And it wasn't because, you know, my family and friends and even my employer wanted to hold me back, although I really didn't consult with my employer at that point. Uh, but it wasn't that anyone is was trying to hold me back. Because the act of setting up boundaries, it just changes things that everyone is used to, the way that things normally work. And it also changes their access to me or their access to you. Because when you set up boundaries, you're setting additional time aside for only you, only activities that bring you joy. I'm going to tell you this, though. Everything will work itself out if you create boundaries for you. It's going to work. But you set limits on yourself, not on other people. And that's what's going to help you increase your joy. It's setting limits on you. You have to remind yourself that this is the time, the block that you set aside, and don't let anything else interfere with that. And I'm going to tell you what the result was. I became more present. I had more joy and my relationships improved significantly because I had started taking time to work on my emotions. Communicating your need for personal time to your family can be challenging. It can be, but it's crucial. Proverbs 17, 22 says, a merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. This scripture highlights the healing power of joy and the detrimental effects of, of a discouraged mindset, of being stuck, of being depressed. And it reinforces the importance of maintaining a joyful heart. And through balance and self-care, you can get that joy. When was the last time you felt truly in control of your schedule? Think about it where you did things how you wanted to do it, when you wanted to do it, and things just clicked, right? How did it impact your overall happiness and your well-being when those things worked out for you? Think about it. And then share your thoughts in the comments below. Before we wrap up, I want to invite you to join my Emotional Reset Challenge. It's designed to help you take control of your emotions it's designed to help you transform your life. Sign up through the link in the description. Listen, let's embark on this journey together. Thank you for watching, Sophisticates. And remember, don't let anything zap your joy. You deserve the life filled with happiness and fulfillment. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay empowered and keep shining.